According to one article, Google receives 153.441 million unique visitors each month. And each visitor spends on an average 1 hour 47 minutes and 42 seconds on Google every month. This makes Google Chrome the most popular web browser out there. Since we are always using Google Chrome, wouldn't it be fun to make your experience more exciting with the help of some extensions? So today we're going to take a look at 5 interesting Google Chrome extensions that's going to add some fun and value to your everyday web browsing. Namaste Earthlings, this is Abhishek, you're watching Second Impression and welcome to another episode of The App Affair. If you like what I bring to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for all future notifications. Now let's get on with it. First up, we have an extension called Custom Cursor. So we'll have to go to the Chrome Web Store and type in Custom Cursor. And we'll select the first one up here by custom-cursor.com. And we'll add it to Chrome. Once that's added, you will be able to see the icon up here. When you click on that, you will get all the options that you can choose from. Now let's say we're gonna go ahead and select pizza. So now our cursor has become a pizza. Let's say we want to select a spaceship. Our cursor is now a spaceship. And that's not all. You can click on the icon here and go to more cursors out here. It will give you a whole list of other cursors to choose from. And that's not all. It also gives you complete packages of cursors to choose from. Now let's say we will select Marvel Com Comics Collection. So we're gonna click on add all. Once that's done, you'll be able to see that the entire collection has been added down here. Now let's say we are gonna, let's try uh, Iron Man. Even though Iron Man is dead now, end game. I'm so sad, but Iron Man there is. Thor, here's the Thor's hammer out here. And if you want to change the size of your cursor, click on the icon again and go to manage out here. It'll give you sizes ranging from extra small to extra large. Now extra large looks more like a sledgehammer than a proper hammer, but there it is. Now you can also go back to the default cursor by just clicking on this button out here and there you go. You're back to how your cursor was. Now you will come across ads here, but hey, it's a free extension. So that was custom cursor for you. Now next up we have split tabs. For that we need to go to the web store and enter split tabs and select the first one by split-tabs.com. We'll add to Chrome, add the extension. Once that's done, you'll find the icon up here. Click on that. You'll find all the shortcuts out here. And these are some of the default options to choose from. Now let's select one by two. This is the most common one. Now what this does is it splits your tab into two halves. So we will enter a link in one tab and another link on the other tab. So this way you can use two tabs side by side. Now that's one way of doing it. The other way is to have two tabs open and then click on split tabs. Take one by two and then drag one of the tabs to the other side of the screen. That way you'll have two tabs on your screen side by side at the same time. Now if you want more than two tabs side by side, we we'll click on the icon up here and click on the plus button beside settings. Here we will enter one row and three columns. There you see, let's save that. You get the option out here, select it and we'll get three tabs side by side. But a laptop monitor will not suffice. You're gonna need a large screen to be able to see all the tabs side by side in full similarly you can select four tabs also five tabs six tabs you name it but you need a larger screen to be able to see all of them so that was split tabs this is particularly handy for content writers or for your school or college assignment where you need to refer to various tabs at the same time next up we have the great suspender that helps you free up a lot of CPU memory that is otherwise unnecessarily occupied. For that we need to go to the web store and enter the great suspender. 
We'll select the first one out here. Add it to Chrome. Add the extension. And once that's done, you'll be able to see the icon up here. Now the first page itself gives you some options. First of all is the settings. Now you can automatically have your uh, tabs suspended according to your desired time. I'm checking 15. Then there are a whole list of other options for you. And then down here, you can also enter a list of all the URLs that you never want suspended. And then there are a few other settings. On the session management tab, you'll basically find the Google Chrome history. Then you have all the keyboard shortcuts. And if you want to know anything about the guys who make this extension, there is the about section. So let's go ahead and open many tabs on the Google Chrome browser, the way we normally do. And then let's go to the Chrome Task Manager and see how much memory all these tabs are occupying. We'll also go to the Activity Monitor to see how much CPU is being used up. Now we'll go ahead and suspend all the tabs. You see all the tabs getting closed up here and then we'll go to the Chrome Task Manager. Now you see all the tabs have been suspended and a lot of memory have been freed up. We can also go down to the Activity Monitor and see that a lot of CPU usage has been freed up. And this is how much memory Google Chrome was using while all the tabs were running and after they were all suspended. And this is the CPU usage in the Activity Monitor while all the tabs were running and after they were all suspended. A lot of it has been freed up and it gives less stress to your computer. Up next is Super Mario Brothers, a game I'm sure all millennials grew up playing. And if you're feeling nostalgic about it, you can play this game right from your Chrome browser. For that, we need to go to the web store and enter Super Mario games. We'll select the first one out here and add it to Chrome. Add extensions and we are done. You'll see the uh, Mario icon up here. Click on that and it will open a pop-up screen. Now you can go full screen out here if you want, like this. Click on play, start the game. You need to hit enter for the games to begin. Click on hitting enter till the games begin. So let's get into the game, enter and there we go. X is for a higher jump, S is for a normal jump. This is S, S as in Sam. If you want to jump higher, X as an X-ray. Here we go, I got the mushroom. I become a bigger Mario. I keep jumping, I use X, keep jumping, up. I still have some moves left. Oops. Anyway, we all know how to play this game and you can play this game right from your Chrome browser at times if you feel like going back to your childhood. Next up is an extension for all you trivia and general knowledge lovers. It's called Random Facts. So we go back to the web store and enter Random Facts. And we'll select the second one out here by Tropicalix. We add the extension. Here's the overview of the extension. And every time you click on the icon up here, there will be a small pop-up with the trivia. You can like it if you want it. You can refresh it for the next one. I don't like this one. So let's give it a dislike. But let me also copy it first, dislike, and then I can go ahead, paste it on my Google Chrome and check if it's true before you decide to share it with others. So this is one small extension for Google Chrome that is informative and will not even take you away from what you're doing on your browser. I hope you've liked the video today and with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next one.